everyone, welcome to the mathematics. Today we shall learn about further logarithms. And on further logarithms, we shall look at this the equation. It is the solve for x in the logarithm in brackets of x to the base of 10 raised to the power of 2 should be equal to 3 minus the logarithm of x squared to the base of 10. So this term, we shall make it the logarithm of x into brackets squared is equal to 3 minus the logarithm of x squared to the base of 10. So after having this one, we shall say let the logarithm of x to the base of 10 be a letter, let's say t. Once we have this letter, we shall equate it into the equation and say now this one will be t squared because this the logarithm of x is simply the same as this. So we say t squared will be equal to 3 minus this part, which is the logarithm of x squared with the base of 10, which is simply the same as 2, the logarithm of x to the base of 10. So we shall say now it becomes t squared is equal to 3 minus, that one now gives us 2t. Like that. We have simply replaced this component, where there is the logarithm of x to the base of 10, with it. this one, so the letter we gave it t. So we shall create a quadratic equation here, which will be in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. So when we rearrange our equation, it will become t squared minus, this one comes here to become my, minus, I mean, less than minus, this one becomes t squared, this one will follow to become plus 2t minus 3 is equal to zero. So from this point, we shall now say, uh, let me look for the two numbers such that their product will have to be negative 3 and their sum will have to be positive 2. So for the two numbers that will give us the product negative 3 and sum 2, these numbers are 3 and negative 1. When we sum the two numbers, we shall end up with 2. When we multiply the two numbers, we shall get negative 3. So from this perspective, now we shall say t squared we pick here, plus 3t minus t minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, so this one becomes t, then we open the bracket, it becomes t plus 3, close the bracket, and then minus t, for that again, minus 1, minus 1, then this one becomes t plus 3 is equal to 0. So this one and this one are the same, we put 1 becomes t minus 1 into bracket, and that one becomes t plus 3 is equal to 0. So after this, we shall now say t is equal to 1, or t is equal to negative 3. These values are obtained from the two uh, equations there. So once we obtain the values of t, we replace them into the, this equation which we are saying the logarithm of x to the base of 10 is equal to t. And our first value of t is 1. We shall now say the logarithm of x to the base of 10 is simply equal to 1. After obtaining this one, we shall write the answer in the index notation where we know that uh, in the index notation it will be 10 raised to the power of 1 should simply be equal to x. Therefore, it means that the value of x is equal to 10. Similarly, we go to the second value of x. So here, we say the logarithm of x to the base of 10 will be equal to t. And our second value of t is negative 3. So we replace negative 3. We write it into the index notation. It now becomes 10 raised to the power of negative 3 is equal to x. And therefore, the value of x will simply be equal to 1 over 1 third. So the two values of x, the first one x was equal to 10 and the second value of x is simply equal to 1 over 1000. Thank you for watching this clip. Meet another time. Thank you.